So here you can see the C spanner I used to adjust the rear shock. I started off by loosening the top, but on the bottom ring you can see a small bit of tape that I put just there, so I can keep track of by how much I'm turning. So like I said, I started off by loosening off the top ring. Um, once I was, as I was doing this, I noticed quite a lot of buildup of gunk and dirt and so on. Um, so I had a brush with me just to, to get that rubbish off there. As you can see in the foreground as well, the rear brake reservoir was kind of in the way, so I loosened that off and just tilted it to one side so I could um, actually get the spanner into there. So I just switched the camera to the opposite side so I could actually get in and adjust. Now this C-spanner that I was using was a little on the large side, it was quite thick, um, whereas the actual rings are quite thin, so it's quite difficult to use. Um, but as you can see I'm adjusting the bottom ring. Now you turn that clockwise to add preload or turn it anti-clockwise to remove um, preload. So in this case I was adding it. Um, a bit tricky as you can see with using that spanner, but got it done in the end. So once I finished adjusting, I just uh, moved the top ring down again so it met the bottom ring. Essentially this top ring is just locking off the bottom ring. Um, so I just tightened it up there and then went back to tightening it with the spanner. Again a bit tricky with this, it's a little on the large side but it does the job in the end. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it.